right, here we go. I do black, I like to do sort of uh, light coats to begin with because uh, black will fish eye on you. Uh, it's one of those colors, I don't know exactly why, but it's prone to it. So uh, you can definitely put the black on too wet. So you want to be uh, slow and steady with the black.
probably gonna use just a cola today. I don't want any runs. So this one's gotta come out good. It's Friday. And uh it'll be for sale tomorrow for sure, so I see one spot up at the top there that I missed. like some sand scratches, but uh, I think I'll be able to fill it up and see what happens. So I looked at flash for a second. This stuff dries pretty quick. It's pretty hot today.
most of the guys in the garage got a uh, right around 13, 14 CFM seems to be the uh, the going number. You know, the guys that are painting pretty regular. So uh, you know, again, depends on how much of the car you're going to paint, and all that stuff comes into uh, account when you're uh, considering the pressure size. But uh, 30 gallon is sort of small. I'm sure there's guys out there that have painted with smaller. I have. Uh, the compressor tends to run a lot and uh, that can produce water. Uh, another person asked me about filtration. The iridescent beads are a good way to go. They're very expensive though as far as buying the replacement beads. Uh, a couple guys have talked about uh, getting uh, flower beads, uh, iridescent beads for crafts and say those will work just as well. I've never personally tried those. Uh, I prefer the toilet paper filter. It's uh, very economical, it's cheap, and uh, it traps a good percentage of the water. Uh, if you have a traditional water trap with a toilet paper filter, it's, uh, you're doing pretty good. I'm not a big fan of the filter on the gun thing. Uh, I feel like that restricts the, the volume of air that the gun has to work with. Let me throw one more coat on this. clear up and go hammer that bad boy and go uh, to the house. So there we go. Tell me, shoe. I saw where you asked how much that uh, grease and wax remover is in the spray bomb. I'm not really sure exactly how much that is, but uh, I'll check with Andrea and find out for you. I don't ever ask how much it is, I just take it off the shelf and use it. You know? so. It's a bad habit of mine. So they have that stuff in spray bombs. And uh, they have the they have the grease and wax remover, they have the blending solvent and the spray bomb, and they have the adhesion promoter. They have some etch primer. They've got some high build primer in the can also. Yeah, 
I was actually thinking about buying a machine that you can uh, put paint and spray bombs, actually make the car paint up and uh, put it in a bomb. The machine's like 1200 bucks. Uh, does the cans, uh, so you got to sell a lot of spray bombs to make that back. People are so competitive with the price right now that uh, you have to sell a lot of spray bombs to make up $1,700. So, right, we're going to use the Sakola today. We're using the American Clear, made in the USA, right in Indiana. Let me see if I can find that label for you. There you go. Just focusing. This is some good stuff, man. Nice and cheap. I have to get down to see this every time, man. Yeah? It just confuses me. I need to make these for uh, blind people. Where the number's bigger. This lasted pretty good. I did that all over and I've used it all week and still have this guy in my second hardener. So. Definitely stretches a little further than the four to one. Let's see how this goal likes it. Accelerate that a little bit. Yep, we throw a little accelerator in here.
All right, there we go. Sorry about that. size my favorite way to filter water would be the toilet paper filter if you're on a budget and if you're not on a budget it would be a, a dryer a refrigerant dryer uh, which raises the dew point in the hose or lowers it where you don't get condensation uh, I used to have a dryer here a little Eaton it was a 110 unit and it was just killer and uh, the painter that brought it here left take it with them but uh yeah i've been looking for one of those a little used eaton anybody's got one of those i'd love to buy one i think a new one's about 1300 1400 bucks there again you can get really silly with the filtration systems and it just depends on what type of investment you're looking to make and how how much paint you're going to do you know uh I mean, you know the cost of materials now. If you mess one job up with water, then I guess you could justify the water system. So, uh, although it's hard to come up with that cash all at once, I know. So, there are other ways to get water out of the line, such as drops and stuff. I think if you look at like the Rick Fix or uh, HPR, they got some really nice water systems. And uh, with a series of drops and bends and drains, uh, I've seen people do it like that before and it works real well. So uh, it just depends on how, what route you want to go, you know. So it's a little windy in here today. Uh, hopefully there won't be too many chunks in this black paint job. cheaper with the clear is it takes longer to dry so you're in uh, dust longer for sure with this stuff but uh, you can't argue with the shine it sure looks good so. this isn't really the conditions that you want to paint a black car in you know I mean you guys know that but you do what they tell you to you know
pretty nice shine. Yeah. Looking good in the hood. There we go, there's your basic black. All dry sanded too, no water on this one. 320 on a DA with a red Scotch Jeep ride. Alright guys, talk to you later.